Hello friends, it's been a while since I've done a wig try on, so let's do one. I do have a new wig. It's actually not exactly new, but I haven't tried it on yet. This is from Fingercomber and I purchased it during their Black Friday sale. To be honest, their Black Friday sale was not impressive. It was just free shipping, I believe. But the wig that I have here is the Kinky Curl Out Unit which the introductory price was $78 and then I remember it going up to $88 just a couple of months later and that made me kind of salty so I held off on buying it so when I was able to get free shipping on Black Friday that saved me about nine bucks on it so I was able to kind of reconcile missing out on picking it up when it was the lower price but this is the card that comes with it I don't have the box or anything that the wig actually came in because I threw it out because who needs to see a box let's be honest it came packaged exactly the same way as the Havana blowout unit which I showed you guys in this video uh, linked here on this card. So feel free to check that out if you're interested in seeing what the box looks like. It's the Kinky Curl Out Unit. I've wanted this one for quite some time. As with all finger comber units, it, there doesn't seem to be a ton of information on it here on YouTube. Classy Kinks is one of the only people I think see, I've seen do a video on it and I think she also did a blog post and stuff like that. But in any event, I thought it looked really, really pretty. I loved the size of it. I love the curl pattern. And this is what it looks like. It looks a little different in person, in my opinion. I feel like it looks like two completely different textures, basically, because you've got the sort of frizzy, um, almost like a blowout kind of texture throughout most of it. And then on the ends, you've got these kind of random looking curls. It's almost like you just put perm rods on the very ends of your hair, like the last inch to two inches. So we're gonna see how this goes. Here's the very bottom of it. You can see all of the curls kind of hanging out there. And then it just transitions up into a much more sort of frizzy, undefined uh, length and top, which I think is the more believable part. And I think, it might be okay because this is the texture that I think will be easiest for me to blend my hair with. I did actually come prepared today and I do have two twists in the front of my head for leave out. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to get a wig cap on and we're going to go from there. Okay, wig cap is on. My hair is just in some dookie twists right now, maybe six to eight of them. I can't quite recall. Not ideal conditions for putting on a wig, but the good thing about big fluffy wigs like this is you can have tons of lumps and bumps in your head and you can't really tell. Now I'm just going to take out these two small twists I have in the front as my leave out. Obviously I don't have one on this side because my hair is shaved on this side, so uh, I just have these two to work with and hopefully we'll make this happen. I'm not going to do any separating of these twists until I get the wig on my head. I'm just trying to get them unraveled. I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to kind of frizz them out quite a bit to try to get them to blend with this wig. All right, so as far as the wig construction goes, you've got a big comb in the front, the finger comb or tag, uh, another comb in the back, and then the adjustable straps that are kind of standard. I'm going to adjust this wig pretty randomly because honestly, I never know where to put these straps. I just kind of put them somewhere so that the hook isn't snagging my hair. And often I will just cut them out altogether because they still tend to end up snagging my hair. By the way, the color I have this in is a number two or whatever finger comber calls their number two. I can never remember. I think it's darkest espresso. I'm shooting this with daylight only, no artificial light. So hopefully it'll give you guys a better idea of um, the color. Let's start pulling apart my leave out to try to get this hairline to blend. By the way, the wig also comes with care instructions, which is pretty standard with finger comber, and it just kind of tells you how to reboost the texture and curl pattern, how to detangle it, how to care for it in general, you know, the usual. I think a twist out was probably the wrong move in terms of blending with this wig's texture. I think what would be better would be setting the leave out on rollers, like big rollers to really stretch it. And then I don't know really how you would accomplish achieving that texture on the length and then these little curly cues on the end. But I don't know. I don't feel like this is blending, but that's maybe because I'm being critical 
I'm not sure if the average person would notice that these are two completely different textures. Meaning my hair and the leave out and the texture of the wig. I do love the volume of the wig though. So here's a closer look. You can see I don't have much leave out because I always feel like less is best with leave out. You can see there's a distinct texture difference and you can also see my gray hair that showed up a couple years ago. It makes me nuts, but it's only going to get worse. Just try to smooth down those peppercorns a little bit. There you go. So that's what the blend is looking like with a twist out rather than, you know, blow dried hair with a rod on the ends. I don't know what this piece is sticking up here, but it's really annoying me. You know, there's just like this very short piece right here. I'm sure you guys can see it. Yeah, that's odd. Even though the texture of my hair is just far tighter than the texture of this wig, I think because I left so little of my own hair out, it's kind of doable. Now, if my hair were to shrink up completely and be even more tight, that might be a fatal error. There's some kind of schmutz on the end of this um, curl here. And this wig is completely untouched. I've never tried it on before. It's been in the tissue paper that it was inside of in the box it came in up until this point. So I don't know what the hell that was. Here we are. This is pretty much what we're working with for today. At least I'm gonna pop in my nose ring and put on some earrings so we can get a sense of more of a final look. All right, y'all, earrings and nose ring are in. This is pretty much the final look. Let me just turn around so you guys can get a sense of how long it is real quick. It's not like, um, it's a nice length. It's not crazy long. I feel like this is a nice length for people who maybe want to go longer than what they normally do, but don't want to go, this is obviously a wig kind of long. I think the texture is pretty believable and I'm actually quite pleased that even with my texture that isn't really blending at all, to the untrained eye, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like it looks pretty decent. And even though this gray hair that showed up way earlier than I was expecting to start getting gray hairs is kind of pissing me off, I think that actually helps give it a little bit more realisticness. Just having that one gray peeking through into my leave out, it makes it look even more convincing in a bizarre way. So this is pretty much the final look. Let me know if you guys have ever tried any finger comber units. Once again, as with my previous finger comber review on the Havana blowout unit, I had no issues with ridiculously delayed delivery or customer service or anything like that. It was a pretty standard, I mean, it wasn't like super quick or anything, but I think I probably waited a week, week and a half to get my wig from the purchase date. So I had no complaints whatsoever. I haven't had any issues with finger comber and I've ordered from them probably four or five times by now because I've gotten just the Havana twisting hair. I've gotten a couple wigs now, you know, it's been a couple things over the years. So I've never had a negative experience. I definitely like the shape of this. And I think it's pretty doggone believable. I feel like it looks quite natural. It looks like this could arguably be my hair. My hair isn't as voluptuous, but most people don't know that. And I think the texture is, is very convincing. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what your experiences, if any, with finger comber have been like, if you've ever ordered from them, what you got, if you liked it, if you had one of those nightmare experiences like we hear about in some of the other videos on YouTube. And yeah, let me know if you guys are curious to see any other units. Uh, I'm considering maybe getting the soft kinks, but I feel like that looks almost exactly like this one. So I'm not sure about it yet, but there's usually at least one other unit that I've got my eye on. So if there's an overwhelming request for a particular one, maybe that'll be the next one I get. I'll at least take you guys thoughts into my consideration with my next purchase. Oh, and if you do ever order from Finger Comer, there are codes floating around YouTube for upgraded priority shipping. I don't know if it really makes a difference, but I always use one. You can check out Classy Kinks channel to use hers. I think her code might just be Classy Kinks, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll leave her code and her channel link in the description box for you guys to check out. Also, if you're not participating in my Snatched for Summer Fitness Challenge, get involved because I think we could all stand to use a little bit of tightening up for summer. I'll leave a link to that playlist right here in case you missed it. 
It is very early on in the challenge, but I'm already experiencing wonderful, wonderful benefits just from cleaning my act up and getting more exercise. So I'm so happy to be doing this and I'm so happy to have some of you guys doing it with me. Thanks for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you guys liked this wig try on and first impressions and I'll see you guys the next time I see you guys. Bye-bye. So that's a nappy-headed hose there. I'm going to take that down. <laughs>